Hi everyone, my name is Bruna Mariani. I'm a pharmacist and global innovation project manager for Fachon Lab at Fachon GSC. Today we are going to make a quick guide on how to compound using the wet meal compact. So we are going to make uh, a formulation starting from tablets, whole tablets. Uh, in this case I have here uh, paracetamol tablets, 500 milligram paracetamol tablets. I'm going to use 10 tablets to build one formulation. Uh, I also have here Searspent, Searspent Alka, which is a vehicle uh, also produced by Fagron in order to increase the viscosity of the pharma formulation and also the stability, give it a better um, taste for the patient and well improve the quality of the final formulation. So to start compounding, the first thing we need to do, we need of course an empty bottle and we need to know uh, the weight of the bottle in order to start uh, placing the content of the, of the formulation inside it. Then I'm going to add the tablets, then I need to add the water, and in the end I'm going to add the sear spend. So this means that the total volume of tablets, water and sear spend needs to be 100 ml because that's my final formulation. So first I'm going to add the tablets, I have 10 tablets here. Then I need to add water. And why I'm weighing the water and not uh, measuring with a volu uh, volumetric uh, cylinder? Because when we are talking about water, 100 ml or 100 grams, it's the same because the density of water is one. So one gram and one ml, it's exactly the same when talking about water. This is not this, uh, the same situation with other substances. So I'm going to add water here. I have seven grams of tablets. I need to complete the formulation until 100, but I still need to add the sear spent. I have six grams of sear spent here. So I'm going to uh, complete the volume in the bottle until 94 uh, grams because after the formulation is ready in the wet mill I'm going to add 6 grams of sear spend and then I'll have 100 ml in the end. So now that we have tablets and water, we close the bottle and we can start. We turn on, we open the bottle holder and we place our formulation inside. One important detail, when you are compounding only one formulation, you always need to add a counterweight bottle on the opposite side. Because if there is weight in only one side of the device, when it is, uh, once it is rotating, it creates uh, some vibration and it will uh, create more noise uh, while compounding and it's also not safe. So we also add a counterweight bottle. In this case, I have a bottle uh, filled with water, 100 ml of, of water. It's important that they both have the same uh, weight. So just to create a balance inside the device. So both bottles are securely holded inside of the, of the wet mill. You close the bottle holders, you close the lid, and you select the cycle. In this case, I'm going to use the 10 minute cycle. You just press and we see each other in 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes passed, the formulation is ready. Open the lid, take the cap, this is the counterweight, and this is our formulation. It's ready. It's normal if it gets uh, a little bit of foam inside, 
This uh, can happen because of the excipients and other ingredients that we, we might have on the composition of the tablets. So this is quite normal. You can just mix manually for a while. You can wait for five or 10 minutes, the foam will uh, set and then the formulation is good to go. Next step, now that we are done with this part, we need to add the sear spend to increase the viscosity of the, the formulation and also uh, for tasting, for give it a better taste. So we put it back on our scale and we add our sear spend it can also be the Cispen Neo or uh, any other Cispen in the dry form that you have in the pharmacy. So now that we have added the Cispen, we can just mix it manually. So just close the lid and you just shake it. So after shaking for a couple of seconds, our formulation is ready to be delivered to the patient. So this was the quick guide on how to compound using the wet mill. I see you on the next video. Bye.